I just wanted to start with talking about the philosophy of the course. So what we want to do is marrying research and teaching in a mutually enhancing way. So you, w so the focus is really for you to, to learn how to criticize things and we want you to question everything you hear. We don't want you to go home with a textbook version of things. We really want you to question things. We, we really have this interdisciplinary approach um, because we think our patients do not care whether we are medics or psychologists or anthropologists. We actually had an anthropologist and she did really well on the course. Uh, they want us to know about everything, which means biology and psychology are equally important. So, and, and that's unusual, so psychologists will learn about medication and the medics will learn about psych psychotherapy. We're very international, so we've got students ranging from Thailand to Brazil, and we really value that experience um, and try to learn from that. So the question is, who will teach you? So, um, the faculty members of the Centre for Affective Disorders um, are heavily involved in the teaching, so you can um, look at the website also to look at everyone there. Um, and the, this, the Centre for Affective Disorders was founded in 2013 at the IOP as a centre of excellence um, to understand the science for mood and anxiety disorders, and that's because the IOP wasn't very strong in this area traditionally focused on other areas and you know obviously affective disorders are extremely important and so this has led to really a, an exciting new place where lots of new people came together like uh, so we all started uh, around that time although there were other people who've done affective disorders for a long time and so there's now quite a big group so we've got professors Young, Clear and Parianti um, who many would consider thought leaders in their particular areas um, and but in addition to that, you'd be, you will be taught by eminent experts f on individual topics. And the nice thing is we've got so many fantastic people working at the Institute of Psychiatry and at the Maudsley Trust, and they're usually quite happy to teach on the course. Um, so you, we, you get a nice selection of people. So what does the course cover? So we've got these modules. One is on eff uh, understanding affective disorders. That's my module. Um, where you learn about psychological models, about symptoms, how you di do diagnostic classifications. We've got lots of workshops, so you, you trained in differential diagnosis, uh, which you can then use in research or clinical practice. You train to use structured interviews um, also to, to do that, and also in phenomenology of symptoms in the old um, Jaspers tradition. Then we've got a module on causes and correlates, so you learn about a neuroanatomy, risk factors, you know, the, the role of the gut microbiome in affective disorders. So very varied topics of um, theories, what the causes might be. And then you've got the treatment module. Um, oh, this works here, the challenges in treating affective disorders. So again, as I said, you learn drug regimes. So people who are trained in psychiatry will learn something from the course. But people who've got no clue about drugs um, will also, of course, learn. And we've got some tutorial groups to bring you up to speed if you're, because many of our students are psych undergrad psychologists, so they've got no clue about psychopharmacology. But actually, they do really well on this. But you also learn about uh, psychotherapies, of course. And then we've got research methods and statistics uh, shared with the neuropsychiatry course. and. Uh, of course, very important is the research project, so you'll do a research dissertation. Uh, there, there are lots of topics around to choose from, and you can also organise your own thesis if you're early enough and you find someone. There is also the clinical placement option, um, where you'd be based in services uh, related to affective disorders attached to the Maudsley and other services. And, um, you know, like the addictions course, we're a small course between 20 and 30 people, which is also because we, we need to make sure that we can offer the clinical placements to people. So for whom is this, this course uh, suitable? So it's excellent for students aspiring to these pathways of careers, for example, enhanced careers in mental health as clinicians or policy makers. Or if you're going to go for a PhD or you're going to go for a declin psych, that those are all pathways that people have pursued um, and employment, of course, in pharmaceutical or clinical academic environments or scientific publishing. Of course, as you know, there's no guarantee for any of those careers because they're extremely high competitive, as, as most of you will know. 
And that's why we think the most important thing for us is to get you inspired to follow your own path. And, and really, uh, we've got students with really fantastic ideas of you know, opening up their suicide helpline in some country uh, far away. So you know, everyone has a passion for the topic, comes to the course. Um, so we've got an excellence award for student satisfaction last year. Um, and if you've got any questions, uh, please email me and check out our webpage. Um, and yeah, so I think that's, that's it. Thank you.